Oh, no, you didn't get it. Where'd you put the twinkle? Where'd you put it? I think she lost it. <laughs> I think she lost it. Load cracker. <sighs> Can't find it. Nice job, twinkle. <sighs> oh gosh. Maya here. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm here with my little baby girl Twinkle. So you guys have seen Twinkle in some of my videos just wandering in the background minding her own business or in my 10 things to do when you're sick. She was basically like the second star of the video because she just couldn't get enough of the camera. Right baby? Right. <laughs> but I think it's time for you guys to have a proper meeting, so I thought it'd be really fun to do the furry friend tag. So if you guys don't know what the furry friend tag, basically it's just a bunch of questions so you guys get to know our furry little friends here on YouTube. Twinkle, you're on camera. That's not ladylike. Come on, girl. Anyways, let's get started with the furry friend tag. Question number one. What is your pet's name? My pet's name is Twinkle. Hi, baby. Oh, oh. Give me kisses, huh? Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. Let's look, let's, let's look fun now, okay? Okay. Question number two. What kind of pet is it and what is the breed? Twinkle is actually a female pedigree boxer. Question number three. How long have you had your pet friend? I currently have had Twinkle for about four years now and she's been a part of our little family for that long right baby right oh okay oh uh, yes yes okay thank you question number four how did you get your pet my little baby twinkie she actually came from an ordinary family i guess you can say she actually did have two parents and i believe she had 13 other brothers and sisters i believe she had seven brothers and six sisters and she was one of the six sisters and as soon as I saw her I was like oh my goodness this little girl needs to be mine you just caught my attention right away yes you did oh my don't play with my hair <laughs> but basically my mom just found this woman online who lived in our town and her pet dog who was a female she had a bunch of little puppies that she was willing to give away so me and my family since we were looking for a new pet we decided to go and get one from her and ever since then Twinkle has been a part of our cutesy little family fun fact I couldn't even take little Twinkies home until she was eight weeks old and when I first met her she was only three weeks old so that meant I had to wait five whole weeks until I could get my little puppy I don't really know why she had to stay so long. I think it was just because Twinkle and the rest of the pups were relying on their mother's milk. And I guess maybe they were having a health issue or something, but we couldn't get her until she was eight weeks old. But she was still a really small pup, so she was fun to play around with for the first few weeks of her life. I remember when I used to be able to pick her up. I can't do that anymore. And I also can't pick her up because she won't let me. She'll growl at me every time I like go and pick her up like this. She'll just, no, she, she, it's just not going to work out. So you do not like to be lifted. But she's pretty good at like getting into the bathtub when we need her to get a bath. Like I remember when she was just a pup, we had to lift her into the bath. But now she's good at just getting in herself. So we don't really need to lift her that much anymore. Question number five. How old is your pet? Like I said before, we got Twinkle about four years ago. So she is currently four years old and her birthday is April 13th, 2011. Question number six. What are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Well, Twinkle has a very active personality. I'm pretty positive she can run as fast as a cheetah. She is very fast. She's also a very strong dog. I mean, I remember one time we were taking her out for a walk and she was like zooming out there so fast that she was on the, like my dad was holding the leash and she was pulling my dad. And my dad is really strong. So it was really interesting to see my dad get dragged along by my dog. I mean, normally you would think it's the other way around, right? It wasn't in this case scenario. 
Twinkle also has a very loving personality. She loves kisses and hugs and cuddles and sleeping with me. I remember when we first brought her home, she was not allowed to sleep in my room. She would be actually downstairs, all the way downstairs, in the kitchen in a little crate. And I remember every single night, she would cry and whine and bark and she just wanted to us to come downstairs and comfort her. So eventually, we decided just to move her into my room since she's technically my dog and we thought it'd be a better suit for her since she'd be with someone. Now, I don't know if these personality traits are quirky, but I can definitely tell you a few quirky things about her. She's a really good catcher. And by catcher, I mean we can throw a treat in the air and she'll be able to like stand on her hind legs and grab it. She is really good at that. I don't understand how, but she's really good at that. She also loves food. That I can relate to. And she also loves to run. Like a lot. She's also a very hyper dog. I mean, whenever we have someone come over, she's always the first to the door and she jumps all over the people. So if you guys ever came over my house, she would be all over you guys. Another quirky and kind of annoying thing about Twinkle is she sheds. Like a lot. I mean, literally, my entire bed is covered in dog hair. My leggings are covered in dog hair. My sh shirt is covered in dog hair. Our entire house is covered in dog hair. Like seriously, whenever we're taking her out to the vet or something, we'll have to put like a mat or like a carpet or something like that on top of the seats. That way her hair doesn't get all over the car seat. And trust me, my dad absolutely hates having a bunch of hair on his car seats. So we have to take extraordinary precautions. Another little quirky fact is Twinkle, whenever I like pet her right here, she'll like kick her leg out or something. I mean like normally like whenever you're rubbing a dog's tummy, they'll kick their leg. It's actually right here on like the side of Twinkle. Like I'll rub it right here and she'll just kick away. I don't know, normally it's on their tummy but hers is on the side right here. Comment down below if your dog, her little itch spot is on the side and not on the tummy. Question number seven. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Well, my relationship with Twinkie is kind of like a mother and daughter sort of relationship. Although she isn't actually my daughter, I feel like she's just my own little baby and I love her and all that other stuff. I mean, technically she is my dog, so I am kind of like her mother. But I mean, I love Twinkle. I always tell her things that's on my mind. And even though she can't respond, at least she'll keep a secret. And besides, this here is man's best friend. So you will forever be my daughter slash best friend, Twinkies. Question number eight. What are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? Well, I mean, Twinkle and I have gone on vacation before. Of course, at like a hotel that allows dogs. But, I mean, we have a lot of memories together. I mean, I do photo shoots with her sometimes. Like, I'll take my camera out and we'll just go have fun in the yard and take a bunch of photos. Or sometimes we can simply just watch Netflix on my bed. Yeah, that's right. We have that kind of relationship, too. I mean, I can't think of, like, a specific memory that I always will remember. But I will always remember the time I went to go see Twinkle before I could take her home. And I was wearing, like, a little mini skirt. And so I sat down to, like, look at all the puppies and they all just came barging over at my skirt and started nibbling at it and they like teared all of it off well not all of it but like they teared like the ends off and like it was totally ruined by the time I left it was so funny but I was kind of upset but you know what it was really cute but at the time I didn't really know they were chewing at my skirt because it kind of just looked like they were all like sitting around me but they were actually nibbling off my skirt and finally question number nine what are nicknames that you call your pet? Well, I we have uh, many multiple names for Twinkle, but the most common or most used one that we use is Twinkie. But yeah, guys, and to end the video off, I will show you a few of Twinkle's little tricks. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna start showing you Twinkle's little tricks. So first, we're gonna start off with the one where she can jump up and catch something. So I'm gonna use these crackers. You're gonna catch this, right? Ready? Good girl! <laughs> I'll do it one more time if you missed that. Ready? Good girl! Good girl. All right, 
right, here is the second trick, which is the paw method. So, you're already sitting down, so, ready? Paw. Good girl! Good girl. All right, here's your next one. Let's try this one more time. Ready? Oh, no, well, you missed it. What if? <laughs> Oh, she dropped it under the bed. Nice job, Twinkle. Well, you got it anyway, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, no, you didn't get it. Where'd you put it, Twinkle? Where'd you put it? I think she lost it. <laughs> I think she lost it. Load cracker. <sighs> Can't find it. Nice job, Twinkle. <sighs> Oh gosh. Well guys, that was the video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys enjoyed my little baby and getting to meet her because now that you guys know her better, she'll probably be able to be in more videos with me. Also guys, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you love dogs because I love, love, love dogs. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and always remember guys, the dog is the man's best friend or woman's. And when the spotlights strut your stuff, and I will hopefully see you guys next week. Okay, I gotta do this real quick. Right? Okay, there, just stay right there. Bye!